December 2020, right here. This was a launch pad for Bitcoin going into the parabolic move to the bull market high. November 2024, right here. This is the move for Bitcoin, the launch pad for Bitcoin this cycle. But it's the daily chart that I really want to discuss. I think for me, when I'm watching Bitcoin right now, as far as price action goes, the daily chart and specifically one very simple thing is the only thing that matters to me right now. I'm going to break that down in the video. And ADA, is ADA prepping a 70% move to the upside to its next target? What does the time frame look like for that? Hit the subscribe and like on the way in and let's talk about these things. I want to actually just start before I look at Bitcoin charts. I do want to go over to total crypto market cap just to give you a sense of where we are right now testing this previous all-time high back in last cycle. Post Bitcoin having the purple line historically is altcoin season when things get crazy. Here it is last cycle, altcoin season, things getting crazy. But what I want to specifically discuss with you is what next in terms of altcoins, in terms of Bitcoin, Cardano, Cardano, everything. We're getting overextended from this daily moving average. I don't know if we're going to see another leg up in crypto right now. I don't know if we're going to crash. If we do crash, what I'm about to discuss is so important. This is probably the most important thing that we should all remember going into the bull cycle. Here's where we are in price discovery on kind of this short term chart, right? There's not much structure. I want to go back to last cycle and just show you something. At this moment, last cycle, here's that purple line, all coin season. We're approaching it this cycle. It's in December, beginning of December. Back here, this is January 2021. I just want to point something out to you on the total crypto market cap chart. Dips, 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 dips. Here's a two day 20% dip. Here's a five day 12% dip. Here's right after altcoin is kind of getting ready to go crazy. Here's a two day. 28% dip, followed by an eight day 24% dip, followed by a seven day 28% dip. Pretty new into the bull run, too. Look at this. And the dips continue. This is the most important thing you need to remember. The dips are going to be crazy. And I want to point something out to you. This is probably even more important. If we look at this chart, what, what is going to happen likely to a lot of people? They're going to be in the middle of a 28% dip, 20%, almost 30%. And they're going to think, you know what, that this is getting crazy. My portfolio is dropping 10, 20, almost 30%. That's the top. I'm selling. They sell. It bounces. And it continues going higher. They buy back in here. They want to, be, they want to get back on the ride. And then it dips 18%. And they're like, what am I doing? And they are just losing money with emotional moves. Take profits, have a take profit plan for the bull cycle so that these volatile moves do not get to you and you have a plan. Also study the timeline of these cycles so to get an understanding of how much time left. I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm going to do a, probably a deeper dive on this. And just if you go back two cycles ago, by the way, on the daily chart, same exact thing in the bull market. As it was kickstarting, 27% dip in, in 10 days. And then it took off like crazy. 38% dip in three days. So please be very careful and brace for this impact. It sounds crazy as we're looking at Bitcoin right now, just looking real nice. Looks like it wants to go higher. It might come down. We're going to discuss that. But as we're talking about continuation even to the upside for Bitcoin, we're talking about the beginning of altcoin season. Brace for impact. That is I mean, this should be the title of the, of the video, Brace for Impact. We're on the thumbnail because that is what we all need to do, even in an environment where we're about to go higher. When we get to dips, when they're happening, we'll, we'll be covering it on the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, notifications on. If we're crashing 20%, I'll, I'll probably be doing a video very fast to discuss the move. Now, let's talk about Bitcoin. Here's the only thing that matters for me. Not much, like, not much structure after this really nice move. This is the launch pad move. Not much structure, but we're getting kind of a little bit of just consolidation right now in the daily. We want to see it. What I want to point out to you is this. Here's, again, historically, this purple line altcoin season. If we go back and look at last cycle at this moment, this is Bitcoin. Check it out. If I zoom out, you know, Bitcoin, here's Bitcoin getting ready to break all-time high from all the way back here in 2017. Bitcoin going higher. I just want to point out to you what Bitcoin was doing all in this area even going up to this area and this, this big dip right there, 
what is the most clear picture of support and just higher, high, higher, low move? It is the, is the 20 and the 50-day moving average. I don't know. I think it was last cycle, I guess. I think it was last cycle. I kind of talk about it as like a dolphin coming in and out of the water. Higher highs and higher lows. That's kind of how I picture it. And that is the only thing that matters for me right now when I'm looking at the Bitcoin chart here. So Bitcoin is overextended from the 20, from the 50. Can it go higher? Can it get another leg up? Yes. But what I want to point out to you is this. We're getting kind of a show of bearish divergence on this RSI, the slower moving momentum oscillator. The stock RSI, the quicker moving momentum oscillator, cooling down a little bit. It doesn't necessarily mean Bitcoin's about to fall. Bitcoin can go higher, even as these things kind of just consolidate lower. But we have to be very mindful if Bitcoin goes even higher right now of, of, of a big pullback, throwback. But either way, right now, I'm just, I'm hands off. I'm watching. I'm not even, I don't have a target to the upside for Bitcoin. Again, I'm waiting until the next time Bitcoin pulls into the 20. I don't know if it's going to be a, a quick move, right? In a couple of days, one of those 20, 30% dips we just looked at. Or I don't know if Bitcoin's just going to just slowly creep up. And we see Bitcoin do this slowly kind of creep up sideways, a little bit up, and then the 20-day gets closer. And then guess what? It explodes higher. I don't know how this is going to play out. One thing that I do know is I'm, I'm, not, tra- I'm not a short-term trader. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just waiting for Bitcoin to kind of set the tone, set the pace for the next move. Curious on the US dollar currency index, what this is doing. You can see right now, it's, it's kind of in this environment of potential resistance from back here in October, 2023. We had a really nice move for the US dollar currency index. Is that's going to start falling? That could be very good for Bitcoin, a, case, a very strong case for Bitcoin. So want to point that out. Let's go take a look at ADA, look at the ADA charts, because I think it's important at this moment just to get some type of video out there on the more on the macro, right? This isn't going to be too zoomed, up, too zoomed in of a video. Immediate resistance, we are there. It's a 200-week moving average in red. Unfortunately, I have, I have two important areas that are, I have in red, but the 200-week moving average is this red line. It is showing resistance so far. So on the short term, ADA might not break out, right? It's right around 75 cents. So let me first talk about it not breaking out right now. But let, and then let me talk about the 70% move that I think is getting very close. That's to a, like a $1.25 target or so. So last cycle at this moment, ADA was making this powerful move through the 20-week moving average. It's the move that I've been tracking on the YouTube channel that I've been waiting for. It's why I did the end of October, you know, 50 cent prediction or forecast, I think it was. And it was waiting for this move. And I was, I was a little early, right? It didn't happen until November, early November, but there's that 20 week moving average break. Here's uh, the Bitcoin having last cycle. Here's altcoin season starting last cycle. And you can see where the move happened last cycle. This is right where it happened this cycle. Now we're met with resistance at the 20 week moving average, but notice what it did last cycle after it made the, the power move. It chilled out for like a month or so before going higher. And it pulled into the 20-week moving average. A lot of volatility. Right now, the 20-week moving average, right around 40 cents or so. So we can anticipate potential month of, of sideways or consolidation for ADA. And notice, when ADA made the move through that 20-week moving average last cycle, it was just hitting overbought, and then it cooled down. What just happened? We just hit overbought, and maybe it cools down. Now, the case that it doesn't happen right? Maybe it, actually eight is about to keep going. Either way, this is the target to the upside. If ADA breaks through this 20-week moving average, right around 75, 76 cents, it's this red line up here. Now, what that red line is, is around $1.25, like 74% move to the upside. In the bear market, ADA dropped like crazy and pulled right into the 20-week before going lower. A very important area on the ADA chart. In Two bear markets ago, ADA dropped into the bear market and pulled into the 20 week. And notice that area back then was 40 cents. And this is where ADA kind of cooled down for a moment before really going crazy. But more importantly, notice after ADA broke the 20 week moving average, the move we just got on this weekly chart, ADA bro- t- took a, like a month break and then it flew to that target. 
right? It flew to this area. So that back then it was 40 cents. Right now, it's $1.25. This gives you a sense of how not only on pace from a time frame perspective, insane, how on pace ADA is right now, but it also gives you a perspective of, okay, the starting point for ADA this time is higher than last cycle. ADA is, is doing its thing and it's, it's on track as I've been noting, but there's the move. It's, it's that, that kind of pullback area back there in 2022 to the 20 week and it's breaking to that area, $1.25. It's like a 70% move for ADA. What would be very exciting is if ADA doesn't take a month break like it did last cycle and then make the move. But actually just, what if it makes the move now? And I don't know. I don't know what type of week it's going to be for crypto. There's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot going on in crypto. Let's, tr- let's track the US dollar index. There's a lot to track. So either way, we have our targets to the downside, right? ADA can consolidate anywhere above the 20 week moving average in green around 40 cents. I'm not saying it's going to crash right to 40 cents, but don't be surprised if we get big dips, everybody back into the fifties, it would be normal. And then on the daily chart for, for Bitcoin, what matters to me is, yeah, let's, let's do another all time high this week. Let's have some fun with it. Let's, let's go into price discovery, but what is happening with the 20 day moving average and what is happening with the RSI, this momentum oscillator, what would be phenomenal is if we get to bounce off of this moving average, this yellow line on the, this momentum oscillator, and Bitcoin actually just flies on the RSI to a higher high as, as price is just going higher. An explosive move for Bitcoin up and through $100,000. So let's track it. Let's see. Prepare for, for, for volatility. Brace for impact. Either way, have a plan, everybody. And let's enjoy the week ahead. I hope you enjoy the video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Turn notifications on. Smash the like. If you enjoyed this video, I'll see you in the next video. God bless.